up for sale in our vehicle max of a beautiful 2011 Nissan Maxima SV with a premium package and tech package. Pearl white on the outside with tan leather interior with only 19,000 miles. It is still under the full factory warranty of three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper followed by a five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We've been in the car business since 1992 and it's sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Around the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. I'm going to finish going around so you can see the vehicle has no dents, no dings, no damage, no major scratches, no touches of any kind. And then we'll get inside of it and show you all the uh, options in the vehicle. It has navigation, color backup camera, panoramic moonroof, heated seats, cool seats, paddle shifting, Bose stereo sound system, premium tech package. Let's go ahead and get inside of the vehicle now. This vehicle has an intelligent type key. This is the type of key you put in your pocket. I'm going to lock the car now. When you approach the vehicle, to get inside the vehicle, you don't have to take the key out of your pocket. Both front doors have a little oval switch here, right on the handle. You press it once for the driver door, and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. And now all the four doors are open. Okay. The door panels are charcoal and tan. Of course, we got uh, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. All four power windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. You got memory seats for up to two drivers, wood trimming. You got dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in spotless condition with no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no uh, burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Got seat side airbags, as well as curtain side airbags. Get the panoramic moonroof, which I'll open up for you now. So let's go ahead and get inside of it. Before I do, let me show you the uh, tilt wheel. It tilts up and down, and also uh, a telescopic, meaning to in toward you or away from you. In the back of the, on both sides of the steering wheel, you got the paddle shifters. This is this one here is the downshift, the other one is the upshift. But I'll show you that. Let me go ahead and get inside of it. On this side here, before I close the door, you get your traction control switch, your power mirrors, your heated steering wheel, and yes, it does have a steering heated steering wheel, and your trunk popper. If your battery is running low, you can uh, put your key in this slot here, and it will recognize it as well. All right. Once you get inside the car, the vehicle senses the key is nearby. It is asking me, as you can see there, to step on the brake and hit the push button start. So let's do that. You just push it. You don't have to hold it. All right, and while the navigation boots up, uh, there's your navigation. Okay. When you put the car on reverse, you get the color backup camera. With the parking guidelines, when you move the steering wheel, you see it shows you that you shows you which way uh, you will be backing up into. Let's go ahead and leave it in the center there. Let's put it back in park. Let's open the panoramic moonroof. It has a uh, shade which retracts a power shade. Let's see if you can see it over my shoulder here. They retract toward the center. The front moonroof opens up. And obviously, as you can see, it's one touch. I'm not holding the switch. Uh, the rear glass is just for you to look out of. It does not open. Okay. Um, let's see where we can. Let's go next to uh, the power rear shade. We do have a power shade in the rear. And uh, let me hold the camera there. It's up. And let's go ahead and leave it down. So we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. Okay. Besides that here, 
you have your uh, the driver's seat is heated and cooled it's hard kind of hard kind of hard for me to see it here should right now some cool seat because I can feel the cool seat on my backside and the passenger seat only has the heated option okay uh, which is standard they don't come with a uh, cool seat in the passenger side here you got wood trimming all around this pops open into a cup holder got an automatic transmission that has a manual shifting mode and uh, I'll show you how that works by the way it's a leather wrapped steering wheel reverse neutral and drive and that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time but if you want to make a shift manually you'll see a slot here you got a positive and a negative here that is to upshift or downshift okay and then you could there's two ways to shift once you're in there you could tap on the uh, positive here you see the positive sign and what you do is you, you just uh, tap here and on this side to downshift so once you uh, let me push the steering wheel away so you can see it better once you're driving you can just tap here to downshift and on this side here to upshift or you could do it on the shifter too you can tap uh, up here to upshift and here to downshift again if that doesn't interest you just push the lever over and the automatic transmission will do the shifting for you let's go ahead and put it back in park you got a um, two-tone leather uh, steering wheel that is uh, leather wrapped obviously uh, black leather on the center portion here the sides are like a charcoal and they're perforated and let's go ahead and pan around it nice and slow so you can see some perfect shape without any cuts, stairs or burn holes in the meantime let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays the car has 19,092 miles. The car is running right now. I'm going to rev the engine. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left hand side of your screen. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, nor bed light, nor back light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Okay, um, what I meant by the automatic power windows is this one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or to go up for the action. This, this window needs to be programmed. Um, but the action is when you press here, they'll go down and stay down by themselves. When you pull up, they'll stay up by themselves. And obviously that's on the warranty. I just think it needs to be programmed, that's all. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's go on to the, uh, the rear view mirror. The, uh, the rear view mirror has a sensor here that senses bright light so when somebody puts their high beams on you it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision you get the three little houses down here that is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community um, let's see what else you actually let me turn off this cool seat option here because it's it's really cold okay uh, let's go ahead and listen to the stereo Let's put AM. Let's put. Hard way. The check. That. All right, you can raise or lower the volume here. Look at you. Uh, now look at us. Yeah. All right, you can say raise the volume here, lower the volume here, and also you get about uh, your Bluetooth controls over here. So if somebody calls you and once you pair your phone, you pick up the phone here and hang up here and you get also voice command. Over here, this button here uh, allows you to move about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set down here yourself, which of course can be changed. This is your go and back button and your source button takes you right now, we're on FM. To the other FM, to XM. This vehicle does have XM capability, but right now it's on preview mode because you have to call that number or go to that website to sign up for a subscription. So you got uh, XM1, XM2, XM3, your music box, AM, and FM. Okay, um, what else? Uh, let's see if I'm, I'm missing anything up in the front here. The steering wheel, the power tilt and trim. You got more storage here in the center, by the way. And down in there, I don't know if you can see it, you got a little cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. The center console has a 2T 
tiered storage. This button here is to open the top tier. This one here is to open the bottom tier. The top tier is just a smaller storage. This one here is um, down here. You get your uh, video input, cigarette lighter adapter, and your auxiliary port for your iPod Music. Way down here. Here's your cigarette lighter adapter. Okay. The video input is here. So if you want to watch something on your navigation screen, and down in here, you got a. Uh, uh, I can't tell from this angle here if this is just an iPod port or a USB port. It's too dark in here. I think that's a USB port. Let me see. Let me feel with my finger here. Yes, yeah, the slot is rectangular, so that is a USB port. Okay. Um, your main glove box is over here. And in here, you got your owner's manual with its casing and all supplemental booklets that you need. Uh, let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Interior is in remarkable shape. The car is in the full factory warranty. Up in the top here, we got map lights, obviously on either side. Vanity mirrors with lighting. And you got also an extension here that you can slide if the sun's coming in from a different angle. Uh, let's pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, cracks, no lifting, uh, no, the dash is not lifting up anywhere. Nothing like that. I mean, the car is in just remarkable condition. Okay, um, I think we're ready to move on to the back. I think I've covered everything up here. If I haven't, feel free to call me at 305 218 5462. My name is George. Okay, um, when you're ready to leave the vehicle, all you gotta do to turn off the car is press here. You don't have to even step on the brake for that. <clears throat> As you see here, when you leave the vehicle, the, t uh, the power tilt moves up, so it makes it easy for you to get in and out of. Now, once you exit the vehicle, uh, if you want to lock the car, you don't have to pull the remote out of your pocket. Just press here once. And now, all four doors are closed. Let's go ahead and open them up again. One, two, and now all four doors are open again. Let's have a look at the back here. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back, and they'll have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses this belt right here. You got also anchors for your baby car seat. There's one on each side here, and then you got another set over there. The rear row passengers got their own curtain side airbags. Uh, the rear door panel says the same as in the front, charcoal and tan. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Push that little lever in. What that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handles can open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, very simple. Just pull this open here or back to this position and this handle will start working again. Center console in the, um, in the back. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you have a, uh, a nice armrest there with a the wood trimming and you got another that pops into a cup holder. You get access to the rear here, which is also lockable. She will leave this down. That looks really sharp there with the wood trimming. In the back of the center console, you get AC vents for the rear row passengers. All right, let's go ahead and uh, come back here to the back. The way you, uh, you got um, uh, matching Goodyear tires all around. Four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, rear spoiler. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All their chrome trimming is in perfect shape. It's not pitted, cracked, or oxidated. Right rear tail light. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. To pop the trunk, you need the key. You press on the key and hold. Or you can use the uh, remote, uh, the, this little switch that's on the left-hand side of the steering wheel that I showed you for to pop the trunk. The trunk is nice and spacious. And as you can see, it's in spotless shape. There's no uh, bleach spots, no paint droppings, no burn holes, nothing like that. Just really, really nice and clean back here. <clears throat> Here's the rear camera that we were looking at when we were backing up. Bose stereo sound system. Rear window of the froster, those little orange lines. Let's come around to the passenger side. Let me go ahead and open up. Right rear door panel, perfect shape. 
course you got the child lock protection on this side as well Let's look at the interior from a different angle which is spotless back here you can tell whoever had this car didn't have any kids because there are no indentations the baby car seats there are no um, you know no stains no um, nothing like that you know it's just really really clean all around especially in the back this looks like it's never even uh, been sat on right front door panel perfect shape I'm sure by now you notice that none of the panels have any burn holes or cuts or cracks or scratches on the plastics. None of the speaker covers are damaged. As I said before, you got power seat and power recliner on the passenger side. No lumbar support on the passenger side, only on the driver's side. I think I might have misspoke earlier and said that you have a lumbar support on the uh, passenger side. It's just on the driver's side. All right, um, I want to talk to you about financing for just a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credits. If you want us to, go to get you a pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you'll see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely. Click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.